Hey, my name is Jenna Andrews, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. It's a busy morning so far. I know. It's, <laughs> I know. I was like, wait, this is so awkward. How do you keep um, it all together? Like, that, that's what I'm that's trying to figure out. I don't keep it all together. That's the thing. I literally am, like, half alive right now. It's so funny. <laughs> I literally got home at 3.30 and woke up at 7. Jeez. And I'm just like, I feel like it's almost like good because when you work in a state of delirium, it's almost like you don't overthink things. Right. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's funny because I'm always like, That's so true. why do we choose this lifestyle? <laughs> like, why do we choose to do Literally. this crazy, like, there's no, there's no nine to five, there's no hours. It's just no, like when we start and when we finish. It's so true. And I think that it's like, there's something, I mean, here's the thing. It's like you never feel like you've like arrived mm. you know what i mean you're right. always like trying to like get better and bigger things happening right. so i think that it's like one thing happens and you're like shit that's not enough and then you've got to like you know go on to the next thing <laughs> that's true it's so funny that's true. yeah and that's that's something that you I, I like i don't know how you juggle so many things that i mean you're constantly <laughs> doing so that. much it just doesn't make sense like how are you able i mean we all have those 24 hours yeah, 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 right. but you know some people just make those 24 hours seem like it doubles or it triples like how do you balance all that okay so first of all i'm really bad at time management like literally. i would never i would never guess something really? like that yeah I, that doesn't make sense really? okay no no come on are you serious <laughs> i'm so no, serious i'm so bad at it like here's the thing like with me i'm always like the kind of person that i feel like like yeah of course i can do it so i'll like over like i'll try to like overbook myself and i think sometimes i end up positions where i'm like okay i did way too much and like sometimes i'll miss like Put it this way, yesterday, ugh, I totally like spaced on a meeting and I feel like that never happened. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, and that never <laughs> happens. So then you're like, okay, that's like I'm doing too much. But in terms of like the thing, like, you know, writing and vocal producing and like EPing albums, it really comes together as one. So that's yeah. a little easier in terms of like time because I feel, I feel like in a weird way, people think that they are different because they think that you know obviously different titles but they sort of right. work together right. so i think it, it's like it's actually not as challenging it's the like thing is hard the hardest for me is like emails emails yeah i agree i like, that's I what i have a hard emails time with. and meetings like yeah. that's the thing because like i feel like if it's just the creative and it's like writing vocal producing putting ideas together but i think when it comes to like you have like you know if, you, if I'm in the studio for five hours not looking at my phone and right. then you look at like fucking like 150 you just, emails, yeah. you're just like, oh, like you have to take the next day off. Yes, <laughs> literally. And that's the thing that like kills me yeah. because then you feel like you're getting behind. But it's it's like, yeah, that's my only. I don't know. Right. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> I no, I feel you on that. And, and it's one of those things where it's like you can easily have someone assist you and, and deal with it. Yes. But at the same time, you don't because that's you speaking to these contacts that you've worked so you hard know. for. Oh, yeah, I, I feel you there. It's I feel like, you there. And that's the thing is being a control. Wait, what sign are you? I'm a cancer. Oh, I never. I just right. disappointed I her. I feel like I just oh, disappointed no. her. Literally because I don't know enough about it, but I feel right. like I'm learning and I always am like, what sign are you? And I think I know. And then I'm, wrong. I'm like, I'm like, wait, OK, but no. Um, I I'm a Taurus, but I'm like Taurus apparently is very like stubborn and control freak mm -hmm. and stuff. I feel like exactly that. Of course, you can get an assistant, but right. I think in the end, it's like to your relationship, especially when you're working with with artists, it's like they trust you more. So you don't want to like screw it up by right. having an assistant, like put, tell them to be in the wrong place. That they, you know what I mean? Right. So it's like that feels like gives me stress to make sure that I do it myself. But right. it's sort of like that's what I mean about time management is like that shouldn't be me because it does like affect your it, it does, like it, there's, you there's know what so i mean much, there's so much personal information like now i have the blessing of coming to artists homes like here like i don't want someone else to you know totally this you know like 100%. and it's like it's something that like i can keep it to myself but other people be like hey look who i found <laughs> out about like you know like so i don't want to deal with that yeah no i know and that's the thing and like i really think that that i do enjoy it and i like the fact of being that person that can really like be putting it all together but right. I think it'd be overwhelming when you feel mm. like there's too much and you're like starting yeah. to like crumble as a person because you're like wait I'm only like <laughs> I'm not a robot right. I wish I was you forget that sometimes Fuck, dude if I can we clone ourselves you could say whatever you say no I'm saying I want to clone I, we <laughs> oh you want to clone ourselves okay I, I mean it's I've so been much I've been asking for that for a while now so Let's dude I'm see. telling you if I could clone myself like oh, can you imagine? I'm just saying that, like, that would be the dream. Because it's, it's like, oh, 
it just would be so <laughs> nice because I sometimes really do wish that I was a robot yeah. I was like just and also just because you think that oh man why do I have to sleep for this three hours I could really use this three hours <laughs> Uh, yes, and then you realize you're still trying to get that work done, but you're reading yes. the same sentence like so five times. Yes. Okay, you're literally. I that's happened to me so many times. By the way, I've said literally like a thousand times, but literally, oh, I literally, I can't help it. It's like a, t a nerve, like a twitch or something. Um, but no, I, I. Okay, I can't not say it now. What should I say? But it's such a good in between word, mm -hmm. like um, literally. But then when you catch yourself doing it, or like, what's another one? Um. What's another, what's your in-between word? Mine is, um, it bothers it? me. Or like, okay. I That's another like one that kind of bothers me. Like, like, like. like. And it feels like so ditzy, but you can't not do it. Yeah. I feel like you, see? If you catch yourself doing that stuff, it's so, it's like actually annoying because you're like, see, happens so much. Okay, so you're, I mean, you're dealing, you're kind of stressing about that while talking. So how yeah. do you, how do you not put that in a song? It's something that you, you know, it's so common to come out of our lips, our mouths. Like, how do you not put yeah. it in a song so much? Like? Like, or um, yeah. or literally, or everything else. put it in songs. But I mean, that's a good question, actually. I feel like there's more thought, though. That's a okay. thing. Like, when you're talking just off the cuff, I feel like you need that. Because the thing, that's why I always respect, like, presidents like Obama, the way he talks. Because right. he must take so much thought not to have those words <laughs> in between his sentences. Yeah. But in songs, like, it's easy because um, you're working on the lyric and crafting the lyric. You're not, like, doing the in-between words. You right. know what I'm saying? But kind of in a flow at the same time, I see. So it's not, you don't really need those words. But it's just funny when you're conscious of it. Yeah. Um, but anyway, no. So I feel like, for me, I just, I honestly... If I like eliminated the email game, I think I would be like, it'd just be <laughs> the perfect thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, with with you, like, well, with yeah. artists, I yeah, feel yeah. like they they you know the status quo is basically like they're a, they're a songwriter and then they become an, the artist, and then oh, you kind of so went true. backwards, you oh, know, like, like you, you did <laughs> exactly. you did you did the song right, or you did the artistry, and then now yeah, you're doing yeah. like the behind the scenes stuff. So you know what? How challenging was that transition for you from being the artist to now helping other artists and like writing with other artists and constantly being in a studio, knowing that it's not Me. your you know single. No, I really like appreciate that question because it's so interesting. I find that um, especially now, it's like so many songwriters are you know, turning into artists and right. people are like, oh, are you going to do your artist thing? And for me, no, it's not. I think for me, the thing is I love being creative. I love being mm -hmm. in the studio more than touring. Right. So that was the main thing. I like touring and I like performing, but I think I'd prefer to just, the, my favorite art form is just creating. So that's right. why I don't feel as bad about it. And the way I look at it, especially now, 2018, it's like, there's no rules. You know, you can kind of do anything you, do you anything. want. And I think that, like, I hate, the thing is, is, like, I don't believe that you have to put things in boxes. Like, cool, now you're, right. you know, like an executive producer. Or now you're an A&R. Now you're a songwriter. Like, it doesn't mean that's all you can do. Right. And it's like, I get the the whole jack of all trades. Like, it, But if you can do it in a way that, that feels like they flow into one another, which mm -hmm. is what I was saying, I think that it's totally do it. Like, why should there be rules? And I think right. for me as an artist, one, that's that's still like a part of my artistry in terms of the creativity. And if I want to do an artist project next year, maybe I'll do it. Right. You know what I mean? It's not not to say that like because I'm doing this means that I can't do an artist thing. Right. But well, it's just not your focus. right? Exactly. now. Exactly. It's not my focus. And in the end, it's like I think that that's really the answer to the question is the touring part, because for me, it's like, let's say I put out a song and it goes like, of course, I'll do dates. But I just rather focus on like like the vision behind projects. Right. I, I mean, how crazy will those emails get during a tour? Like, oh my, <laughs> it's just gonna make it worse. By the way, I literally at that point I probably won't be alive anymore. <laughs> I just it just got really dark. <laughs> no, but yes, exactly. Actually, that's a good thought though. What would I rather be touring or doing emails? I don't know. What would you do? Touring. Think about it. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> touring before emails. But um, but no, that, that should be your new like shirt. By the <laughs> way. <laughs> Uh oh. Been a great <laughs> we just do this all again. Let's do it. We got this. Um, no, but I, I just think that I really have found like a joy for, for helping. I don't know because I feel like I, like when you're able to express yourself in another project, another artist too. It's really interesting because like it's like anything. It's friendship, dating. It's like this. This. It's just a conversation between two people, but it's really cool when it comes together and it's like a reflection of you and them and it's still it's such a 
to me, that's still being an artist. Right. It's just not like, you're not like, you know, doing your, you're not, like you said, you're not focusing on yourself right. in that sense. But I don't feel bad ever about like this not being me. I actually like it. I think it's because <laughs> it, I, I hear a lot of times the way I work with people is like, you can, I really try to like, how to explain it. Like, I feel like you have to take your ego out of it. You mm. know what I mean? And it just doesn't, because I did it like already, I just, it doesn't bother me. I don't know. You've lived the dream already. Think, yeah, so it's like, and, and it, go on to the next. Is that I don't, that, like I always think, I'm like, I don't really think, oh cool, I'm not gonna do it again. I just think right. this is what I'm doing now. Right. So it doesn't bother me. I'm like, cool, if I wanna do an artist thing, like, you know, January and that's what I'm gonna do then, cool. Like, it doesn't mean that like, I just like to live in the moment and feel like whatever, like, feels right. I started this because initially I wanted to work with my favorite artists who at the time were established already. Yeah. But then, you know, everything kind of switched for me because now I want to discover artists and yeah. that's why I want to interview. That. So, so cool. it's like that's kind of the same thing that you're doing with the A&R and the songwriting. You're working with specifically three new new yeah. artists that yeah. are about to drop their debut EPs, their debut singles and yeah. stuff like that. So it's like how does that you know feel? Everything. I, you know, I try, <laughs> like, I try. It's like, wow. <laughs> but how does that feel like being there and like helping them write their first single? Well, I mean, I didn't like, it's all different, right? So it's, uh, I'm not, I'm not, okay, put it this way. Like I don't write, um, for me, you kind of have to like, as a songwriter mm -hmm. and, and doing like A&R EPing, you kind of have to take, again, take your ego out and you're not always writing all the stuff. So right. like with Noah, for instance, like we did, I mean, the this last song she put out, Team, um, I co-wrote with her and then obviously like, we I do all her like vocals and stuff and, right. and that just, we've always had such a creative vibe together so it really works. But um, for instance, like with the song Lennon's about to put out, I didn't write, but I mean, we're just, I'm so, we're still a part of it, obviously like doing the A&R thing. It's still right. creative and I'm still like, we're still doing it together. It's and just I, different. You and know I, what I mean? And I, I see that, you know, all of you guys kind of still communicate through social media as if you guys were part of every single project. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's and okay. that's kind of cool. So it's, it's like, so it's like, more than just a, a paycheck for you. Exactly. It's like, it's a family. Like It's a family. And that's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't care at this point, even as a songwriter, I just want the best song. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't care if I wrote it. If right. I wrote it, great. If it's great like here's the thing she if if they have you know 50 songs in like my songs the 20th like you know what i'm saying i'm not going to pick my song it right. has to be the best song right. so in the end it's like that's the interesting part you just have to like judge it take it by the music and make sure that the music represents the artist right. which is cool as a challenge you know as an artist myself because it feels like it's easy to be like selfish as an artist mm -hmm. i think like and be like this should be about me but right. i think it's an interesting, like an interesting challenge to be able to put another artist first and be able to understand what their vision and sound should be and not, and to kind of take yourself out of it, but still be in it, if that makes right. sense, no, you know? it does, it does. Yeah. Now, with the three artists, Noah, um, uh, Lennon, and uh, Zavia. Oh, Javaya. Ja oh my gosh, I knew I was gonna no, butcher no, that No, no, you know what, you know what, everyone <laughs> does that though. She, I knew I was gonna, I knew I was gonna <laughs> do that. Um, but yeah, with these three artists, like do you see like a common challenge that they're facing right now as they're, trying to like find themselves in, in the music industry? Um, not really challenge actually. I think it's been like really exciting for all three of them. I think that it's like, they're all in really amazing spaces and making music that really feels so authentic, which is why I feel so like blessed to be working with them. Cause mm -hmm. I truly like, believe in all three of them so much so it's like it's so exciting I feel like they're all they've all come into their own in different ways and I think that um like I just couldn't be happier about it so I don't know it's not like it feels like a, a, like the beginning of like greatness for all three of them not even right. like in a biased way I just think it's it's just a really um cool thing to watch and I think if anything it's just um I mean, there's always challenges, but it's, a, this, right. it's it just is an exciting time. And I feel like they've all sort of landed on like very interesting raw sounds. It are, is super believable and emotional and like just really connect to all their fans in different ways, you know, in the right ways. Right. And, be, and being that they are different kind of sounds, like how does that impact uh, you in the studio when you're working with them or, or uh, when you're discovering artists? Like, do you like, have a specific sound that oh you're yeah. always looking for? Or like, not really. I mean, just good and believable and like yeah. not like you know, gimmicky or cliche. Like, I, I don't know, it's, it's, you can't really describe it. I feel like you just have to judge you have to your feel it. You just have to <laughs> feel it, <laughs> yeah. So it's not like, it's weird, it's not a sonic thing. It's yeah. more so like, is it, is it like, you know, because so many people want to be artists and it's, I think it's just, it's 
artistry is i mean it's really subjective right mm -hmm. i mean artist to be an artist it's like any like Anyone is but that's the thing it's like everybody has their own taste so for right. me it's like i don't it's you can't really say it you just know what you like and right. know it feels good you know so that's I'm it i'm glad you kind of touched base on that because yeah. i've i've always had a like i always get like review requests and i hate reviews because <laughs> i don't feel like oh, i don't feel like music or any kind of like artistry should yeah. be you know judged like every you know this sounds this in way like a, because in like a critical way. yeah i don't think anybody should critique anything that is you know is an expression and a, yeah exactly so it's kind of similar to what you were saying right yeah, now yeah. like um, but you know moving forward like what what else keeps you busy like aside from like these three artists that you're constantly working with yeah, right yeah. now like what what is like your daily look like um <sighs> Just email. No, I'm just kidding. Um, wait. So basically, um, I mean, I try to do like you know two sessions, like two new sessions with different artists because mm -hmm. I always like to like know what I, like. I feel like for me, it's it's I love new artists. That's like my favorite right. thing. Just like kind of always discovering new things that I love. So I'm I usually do like you know a couple sessions a week, and then I, I I'm also like vocal producing. So mm -hmm. certain projects, if it, it's like really different, so certain projects that come up. Um, it will sometimes be like a month project so that yeah. will have to take precedent so like i was in london um for like a month and a half working with little mix and like that was like a big obviously a big chunk of time so right. it obviously shifts how the schedule works but for the most part it's it's really all different it's like you know music is like so unpredictable so but i will say that i mean I try to, again, it's like if I'm here in LA and it's not traveling, and there's no like vocal production stuff, then really it's like a couple of days writing and then it's the, the rest of it's like really focused on just getting these EPs together because yeah. it's just all three of them are doing EPs. So it's right. just like we're trying to get them out this year and then. And, uh, it's, it's within awesome. within like the next month or so. Yeah. Like, it's, it's all like happening literally, now. Literally, I know. Literally. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I feel like we're on an that episode of Curb. You know, it's like we it's might, story arc. We might just have to. Literally. Miss Larry um, David. Miss Larry David. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she should be in it. Should have brought her in oh, well. next time. So now we have to do a round two. So okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so as you were, were talking about, like, Little Mix, for example, like, yeah. how different is it doing vocal production um, or vocal coaching with, like, a group as opposed to, like, a single artist? Oh, I mean. Do you change, do you change the way that you kind of teach? Do, um, no, 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 in those situations? Yeah. No, I mean, honestly, it was really like a fun challenge because of like the harmonies and it's, it's, uh, it just felt, it doesn't, I mean, the thing is, is there's, it just, with a group, you have more liberties to do more parts and it's mm. actually more fun because it's like, you, you have, they, you know, it, the whole point of having a group is harmony and you right. need, and so it actually challenges you and you can do more because sometimes with a single artist, especially nowadays, it's like, sometimes like harmonies almost feel like too much in certain places mm -hmm. but with the girl band it's like harmonies are like everything right. so it's such a you need it yeah so it's actually like a really fun like exercise and challenge as like a vocal producer because it's like the arrangement is such a big part of it right. so i love it it's just it was really really fun yeah and as you're doing all of this i mean does it ever like get like, get in your head like I kind of miss this side of my life. Like I, I want to do singing or I want to do music again. Oh, like, does really? that even like come across you? Still, and I sing all the back. I sing a lot of backgrounds. Like mm. a lot of. So you're still kind of like, oh my experiencing God. Yeah, that life. Totally. No, no, no. That's my whole point. Is I'm still doing it. The only difference, I'm not putting like my records out. But of right. course, I'm singing on records and doing backgrounds and like, like every day. Yeah. No, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing of vocal production. I, I like to use my voice as an instrument. So I like sing a lot of stuff and just like tweak it and, and like make it yeah i just that's 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 what i love about vocal production right. to be honest is using my voice is like sort of colors in the in the track but like you know subliminal subliminal moments or whatever but um yeah so i'm constantly like that's that is i'm like not really a technical vocal producer i mm. always am more like it's it's like all about the raw and the, i'm always about that like yeah. it's all about the feeling for me and i think that Again, it's like fun to to use your voice and, and be able to like, sp I don't know, just bring that feeling out because sometimes an instrument, even if you play it, it won't like, you know, I don't know. It's just if you sing it, it, it will translate different. Even you can like right. make it feel like <laughs> the instrument. I don't know. I'm trying to like exp explain it. <laughs> now to close us off, like what what kind of like advice would you give like either an aspiring artist yeah. or an aspiring individual that wants to or be a dog? Or a, or a dog, or a dog. <laughs> an inspiring, an, an individual that wants to like do what you do, whether it's vocal coaching, whether it's oh, yeah. songwriting, whether it's A&R. Like. Yeah, um, what do you mean? Like in terms of like, 
like how to get your 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 oh, yeah, your foot yeah, yeah. in the door like that first step honestly it's so interesting now with social media though mm. it's like it's a totally different thing now because it's like people like slide into your dms and you're like shit this is dope like so in that sense i think it's there's a different opportunity for upcoming people because like you can go to like hit me and be like hey and then something could be i found some like yeah. really cool stuff that way i think that's cool don't be like obviously just do that because i right. think that there's so much everyone we all want like new stuff all the time and right. there's so much like dope music to be like out there that no one knows about so it's like that that's definitely what i would say i mean don't just be like you know confident to send like all your stuff because people yeah. do look like i always check my dms your dms are gonna get <laughs> busy right now oh my god no i always do i <laughs> just love open it. the door right oh, now no. <laughs> no i no, i'm actually love it because i'm always like it's fun discovery you know what right. i mean like that stuff is great but other than that i think it's just like you just have to be like I, it's so cliche but like just like be have it i mean i hate even saying it but like it, just to have a tough skin i guess you know what i mean like because no, a lot of times it's hard it's easy to get discouraged but i think that the key is like just keep it like keep it going you know yeah. what i mean because like those things i feel like if like and trust your gut because i think all the, the bad stuff as we like we all know mm. like is ends that like there's a purpose right. you know what i mean and i think that in the end it's like it actually is beneficial because you'll realize after you're like wow okay this happened to actually like bring me here which is a better place than i even thought like right. i would have been before so right. i think a lot of times people are easy to be like you know this is too hard or whatever that's the thing i'm Maybe always I'm like so it's hard. not like this is actually like <laughs> take it as a good thing and yeah. like you know just a learning experience but in terms of like actually just getting your stuff i think yeah just like be confident send your shit out like you know like because people do pay attention like and check their i hate like they do I, a lot of my friends like it's so it's so funny on the a and r side like they find so much stuff now mm -hmm. obviously everything's online you right. know what i mean so 